zombies in the street and panic amongst the people. The Prime Minister has the largest legislative recall backed by both major parties. And the rise of the HDL questions whether Britain is ready for a post-apocalyptic society. Being on dead isn't bad, you know, it's kind of like just being everybody else. You know, I wake up, eat breakfast, go to work, come home, eat a baby. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really eat a baby, it's just zombie humour. <laughs> Not that funny, sorry. Um, you know, life kind of just carried on after the apocalypse. You know, I was one of the first to be reintroduced into society, so... It... Did you drink all the milk again? Fucking unbelievable zombies. We're the HDL and we're making a stand. You know, at first it wasn't too bad. People kind of just pointed and stared. The odd kid cried. That was normal. Um, dating definitely got harder. You know, I started using Zinder, that zombie Tinder, but they never looked like their profile pictures. You know, you turn up to a date and the girl that you thought was full-bodied actually was missing a jaw. It's kind of weird, but there we go. Eventually it got more hostile. The more and more of us that started to come back into society, the worse it got. So I lost my house and my job, you know. Um, the government said it was because they were trying to accommodate for bigger families. Um, I tried to move away, but after the outbreak in Argentina, yeah, there was no hope, you know. That's when everyone got spooked and that's when it started. The HDL first started attacking in small groups. We'd go to the authorities, but we'd always get shunned away. I remember the first time they got me, I was uh, walking back from work. Do you know, I've been mugged before, but this was different. It's actually how I lost my foot. Um, I replaced it with one that I'd found. To be fair, you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out to you. I've only got one bread roll left. I have to go to the shop. Oh, <laughs> here's a good one. So, why can't zombies be gluten-free? Because we eat grains. Because <laughs> it sounds like... Never mind. Oh, fuck, we're out of milk. I think part of the problem is that we don't really get represented in the media that well. I mean, The Walking Dead, uh, 28 Days Later, they all portray this terrible image of zombies. None of us are like that. The worst part is they don't even get zombie actors to play the parts. It's like, you know, to... Rep Sorry, I get that. It's just, um, just hay bale. <laughs> I get it all the time. I mean, it's not the most creative that they've ever... Oh, that shit, for fuck's sake. I'm joined by Paul Sampson head of the HDL. Paul, welcome to the show. First and foremost, what is your organisation? The purpose of our movement is to put pressure on politicians and to incite public action. OK, it's been now 11 years since the truce was called and the apocalypse deemed over. Do you not think it's now just time to move on? I don't see how we can. These zombies, they're not like us. They say they can think and they, they can feel, but where do we draw the line? At the end of the day, they are savages and they are killers. The group has been at the forefront of many attacks upon the undead community. What warrants these attacks? Look, OK, let's get the record straight here, OK? Firstly, I do not condone violence and I ostracise those who take part in it. And secondly, it's not my group. I'm just a, I'm a guy who is exercising his rights to express a set of views. And, of course, violence solves nothing. And that is the key misconception about this group, is that I, I favour non-violent, peaceful protests and marches. And look, of course, if you, if you want to get heard, you've got to say, get yourself known. But, you know, I'm out there on the front line, passing along our message along, and people, people are listening and they are agreeing. You say people are listening, but in a recent survey, over 78% of people are in favour of the undead integration. Your group makes up just less than 0.7% of the current human population. Do you not feel as though the people aren't on your side? Our numbers are growing. Dwindling? And... How 
can you say that your numbers are growing when in the last week you've ostracised your former colleague Colin Thompson and he's gone off and started his own faction with the support of over half your members? Colin became radicalised. Yes, but Colin Thompson's new group has taken the vast majority of your supporters. Do you not feel as though you've been, you, as though you need the violence to share your message? That is where I draw the line in relation to to this issue. You say this is an issue. Is it that you don't want them in our society? The issue, or... the issue is that if we allow them to fully integrate into our society, then they will take over and everything will fall apart. But how? The proper measures have been put into place. The undead have been all rehabilitated and deemed safe for humans to be around. Rehabilitation has been shown not to work. Four months ago, there was an outbreak in Argentina and the whole country is still in lockdown. No, no, no. An isolated incident and the one of its kind. You can't use that as your rationale. How would you feel, OK, if a, if a horde of zombies came and attacked you and your family? Oh, well, let's stop with the language. No, no, that is my right to say that, OK? That's my right. The European Court of Human Rights declared zombies to be an offensive term whilst also banning zombies in Spain and France. You tell me how that is justified, how a, a democratically elected court can can outlaw a term and also outlaw a race that that term refers to. You know, just because I'm not a politician does not mean my points are not valid. Well, what's to stop you running for a parliamentary position then? Well, you, 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 that's ridiculous, OK? You, you, you're going into territory that I, I can't... You're inciting hatred and fear-mongering for no apparent reason. As for the court's decision, France and Spain were the lowest affected countries and were granted undead amnesty to help in the aid to restabilise the rest of civilization. But why should we have to restabilise, OK? The, the, the world as we know it was torn apart and now it, it's like nothing has ever happened. So isn't it just time to move on? Camera rolling. Action! I mean, part of the problem is that, realistically... Wait, what are you doing? Trying to sound like a career. Trying to sound like a career. Trying to sound like a career. They just, everybody just walks into the house, they think... They think just because I'm a zombie, they own the place, and they just walk right in. Just... <laughs> 